First, I just nudge my phone sideways to open my favorite app. To see notifications, I just tilt forward and the shade drops down. To go back, I just tilt my phone lightly like this. And all of this using an app called Micro Gestures. And once you give it the necessary permissions, you can set all these three actions. And there's an entire list of things here. So just choose whatever you do most of and you're set. Now there is a chance that you may trigger them accidentally. So please do adjust the sensitivity so you're not firing it unnecessarily. Now next is an app that pins everything that's important for me in that day to the top of my notification shade. So I never actually miss them. The app is called Noterly. So if I absolutely have to do something like get vaccine shots, I just create a note and I pin it. And I can have several of these stacked right here so I never forget anything that's really urgent. And it actually gets better because you can schedule these reminders to arrive as a notification. So again, just acts like a reminder. Next is this wallpaper app that has made me uninstall all other wallpaper apps. It's filled with super high quality wallpapers that I guarantee you will not find anywhere. And just look at some of these and how gorgeous these look on any phone. Even if you zoom in, you'll be amazed at the resolution and the quality of these wallpapers. Extremely sharp. These are all AI generated which makes them really unique. And you can set the wallpaper directly from here or you can download them and even edit their color or saturation and blurriness. The app also includes seasonal or holiday wallpapers as in when they happen and since Christmas is around the corner so obviously you've got these here. Now the daily section, it gives you wallpapers across multiple categories, it's absolutely free. However, you'll get access to a ton more of these nicely laid out uh, if you've got the premium version. The collection, again, it's endless, they're updated very frequently and you'll actually have more wallpapers than you'll know what to do with. There's in fact a lifetime sale going on right now that will get you the entire thing for an extremely great price. I assure you that this is well worth it. Now you know iPhones have this great feature where you can quickly scroll to the top of the page by just tapping at the top edge. Now Android phones don't have this yet but Androids can do everything. They just need an app for it. And the app is called Tap Scroll. With this enabled you can tap on the top to scroll to the top just like an iPhone's. But you can also double tap to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. And by the way, you can add more interactions to your you know, status bar uh, from selecting amongst these options. For example, long press can open recent tasks or let's say the torch is not on, but swiping left can turn it on. Now the next app is called Tooly and it's actually a collection of very handy tools that you may need from time to time. It's basically a collection of tools that will cut down the number of steps required to do very small menial tasks. Like let's say you want to quickly resize a photo, you can just choose a size, and boom, done. Or let's say you want a rounded photo from within an image. Again, very easy. It's also got a couple of color tools, for example, color picker. So you can, you know, figure out which color exactly is in a specific uh, photo. Then there's also a unit converter that can convert from, you know, one measure of units to any other measure of units, again, uh, depending on whatever you need. Then there are also various text tools like, you know, find and replace text or to remove empty spaces or even line breaks from a bunch of text. Or you can even convert a specific word uh, to something that's really funky, unique and a bit of, you know, fun. It's also got spin the bottle or spin the lucky wheel if in case you want to reach a common consensus amongst disagreeing friends. Now, you know, Apple released standby mode, whereby if you placed an iPhone on a wireless charger, it would show the clock or like a photo album. Androids don't have that, but again, with an app, you can do it. The app is called Standby. You get all these various clock styles to choose from, and each of these can be further customized to a color theme of your choice. It also has this dual style uh, standby display, which has two independent widgets on the left and the right, and you can edit each side with a widget from amongst these ones on the left and make any combination. You could also choose to display just photos like on the iPhone and just look at how good these look. I mean, there's plenty in the free version of the app, but if you're interested, you can definitely unlock more by getting the premium version. Now, you know, a lot of the times I'm talking to someone like I'm chatting and then I don't want my screen to turn off because I want to be able to see when they reply. Or sometimes I'm uploading heavy files and I just want to be able to see the progress. Regardless of why I want the screen on, it's a long process to set the display to turn off after 10 minutes. But 10 minutes is the max I can get. I can't go beyond that. And again, it is a process to get to that. And for this, I have an app called Caffeine. With this, I get a simple toggle in my quick settings. I tap it and now my screen will not lock itself. Now, another very similar app. A lot of the times you're talking to someone, like they're sitting in front of you and your phone rings. So you go ahead and mute it. And then your phone rings again. And then you again have to go put your phone on silent. It's a hassle. Or you could just flip your phone and it goes into DND mode. The app is called Flip DND and it simply mutes your call when you flip your phone. 
Okay, coming up next is Edge Card Launcher, which is a handy edge panel giving me access to my favorite apps and contacts. I can flip it open wherever, whether I'm on a home screen or whether I'm in the app. It also lets you quickly set the volume, change music tracks from here, and lets you turn on the torch and even set auto rotation from here. You can set whatever apps you want, you know, quick access to, and also choose which contacts you want instant access to. There's obviously plenty settings here that you can tweak to customize the look of the edge card and also tweak its behavior and interaction sensitivity. I'll leave it for you to explore. Now, this next one is crazy. So you basically enter an emoji or the exact mood for the kind of movie you are in and it spits out recommendations that are bang on. You can set the release here and the IMDb rating you prefer as filters so they're not too old and low in IMDb score. But where it really is super is that you can filter this list by which platform you have access to and which languages you prefer. And because all of this is AI based, if you sign up and mark things as you know liked or seen, it'll get even better with its recommendations for you. Now this is not an app, but it's almost like one. It's a simple website called moveme.tv. So go there and decide what you're going to watch next. All Android smartphones have some of the other kind of app drawer. But if there is one app drawer that I really like, it's Pixel Launcher. First of all, it appears like this nice widget here. And when I click on it, it opens up in this impressive search tool. So with this, it's obvious that I can search for any app that I have and launch it from here and still search for a contact and just, you know, with a tab, decide to call or text them. But I could also just search for a YouTube video by typing the title and clicking on YouTube or type a song name and search on YouTube music. I could just add my favorite coffee place and instantly search on maps. And to get this widget on your home screen, install this app called Pixel Launcher, open it, go into settings here, and then go all the way down and tap on this, add this widget to your home screen thing and that's it. Okay, next, if you like this home screen setup, it's mostly because of this icon pack, which obviously resembles the icons we get on the Nothing phone, but only better because it supports way more apps than the Nothing phone itself. It's a great collection and majority of the apps you use are possibly covered here. Uh, the icon pack is called Nothing Icon Pack. The collection is really solid, very crisp and accurate icons and beautifully reminiscent of the uh, Nothing design language. It also comes with its own set of matching wallpapers. So, you know, it saves you the time to find wallpapers that go well with this icon pack. There's actually a similar icon pack, you know, but in color called Nothing Neon, which you can also explore. Now, I know that this icon pack is not free, but fortunately, the developer was kind enough to give me 30 promo codes to give away to you guys. All you guys have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me specifically for Nothing Icon Pack. I've only got 30, so it's first come first serve basis. Now, you know, one of the best things of having an Android smartphone is that you can play around with widgets. You can place them anywhere, unlike in iOS. And I've found a collection of absolutely gorgeous looking widgets that are also super customizable. So you get clock widgets, uh, music player widgets, you get calendar widgets, device info widgets, and photo widgets. Every widget is customizable. For example, in this one, you can choose the clock type, uh, the style of the hours, uh, the shape of the widget, set the color combination, or choose a different accent color. And once you're done, you just tap on add to home screen. And yeah, you can do this for all these widgets that you see here. Excellent collection. And that's it, guys. Those are the top apps of the year 2023. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon and mark all. It really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.